for canapés in salad with tartar. This homemade marinated salmon is delicious and is super easy to do. And with a very good price. 100 grams cost us 1.80 euros. Welcome to Agile Cooking. We need mainly three ingredients. Marine coarse salt, a kilo approximately, half a salmon without the fish bones and 200 grams of sugar. We can use some spices to enhance the taste of the salmon. In my case, I put some coriander seeds, some dry dill and as well fresh dill that I had at home and some black pepper corn. But you can use whatever you have at home available. We're gonna start mixing 400 grams of coarse salt with 200 grams of sugar. And we're gonna do a bed for the salmon in a container that is big enough for keeping it in one piece. You can cut it as well, but if you want to do slices, it's better to keep it in one piece. Then we put the salmon on the top of the bed and we add the spices. They should be well distributed over the surface in order to give more or less similar taste. In my case, I smash a bit the coriander seeds and add the peppercorn and the dill on the top. When the salmon already has the spices, then you add the mixture of the coarse salt with sugar and it's to cover it completely without being able to see it. Uh, cover it with cling film and I put a bit of weight in order to speed up a bit the process and keep it in the fridge between 24 and 48 hours. The longer you leave it, the more dry and curate it is gonna be the salmon. Look all the liquids that has released. Once it's ready, we just remove the salt and as you can see, it's much harder. It looks a bit like a cardboard. You should remove very well the salt on the top. Sometimes I even put it underneath the tap, but today I just clean it with a paper towel just to see if there is any change of flavor, but honestly, it was not much different. For cutting the slices, you need a very sharp knife, ideally specific for slicing. We're gonna start from the tail in the direction of the end of the tail and with diagonal cuts in order to do bigger slices. We're gonna cut first the last part of the salmon, but don't throw it. We can use it later for doing salads. It's important to not cut the skin because it's gonna help us on doing the thin slices. We'll aim to cut slices of one millimeter thickness and as regular as possible and we're gonna try to remove as much meat as possible without cutting the skin. Some slices might be thicker, some slices might be thinner, some slices might be shorter, some slices might be longer. Everything is practice, so don't give up. If the flesh is more tender, because maybe you have let it less resting, you can use the technique of putting the fingers on the top of the salmon and passing the knife in between the salmon and your fingers. In this way, you will be more sensitive on the thickness on the, of the slice. But be careful because you can cut your fingers more easily. As I want to do a tartar, I'm gonna cut the last part in dices. And for that, I'm gonna remove all the skin first and then after do the cuts it's easier if the knife is to sharpen as mine you might cut a bit of skin uh, but you can remove it easily after just be careful first not to cut yourself and second not to remove a lot of meat uh, from the fish skin you can see the difference between how soft is the part that is touching the skin and how hard is the part that was touching the salt the thinner part, as it was a bit harder, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna add it to salad. If you can see here the difference of color between the part that was touching the salt and the more interior one. That has a bit more flavor from the salt and it's gonna be ideal for a dressing salad. I'm gonna use the thicker part for doing a tartar. Look at that juicy salmon. It 
looks yummy. After cutting it, you can pack it and you can freeze it up to three months. If you like that recipe, click on like and don't forget to subscribe. And meanwhile I'm finishing to cut the salmon, let's review the prices. I bought a whole salmon around two kilos and a half and we only needed half of it. Uh, and we end up with 720 grams of cured salmon. It costs around 10 euros a kilo, so approximately everything was 13 euros. That it's a price of 1.80 euros the 100 grams. Super cheap, super nice. Super salmon, super price.